we're back with another uh, making your own framework video this one we're talking about commands as you can see I already have uh, it open in here which is SV commands uh, this one mainly gonna be a server-side thing so we're gonna start off with a trigger event and then that's gonna be MP dash base colon add group command I have a comment here, uh, set group, uh, and obviously that's going to be for setting the group of the player. Uh, and now we got to see who has the permission. So we're going to set this to admin that will have the permission for this. Uh, and then it's going to be a function source args and user. And just like that, we're going to end it right there. Perfect, perfect. And now we're going to do a couple things here. So we're going to have a local target, uh, which is basically the target player. So we're going to use a two number here, uh, which just make sure that uh, this is a number. And we're going to select args1. Uh, this is going to be player ID in game. So you'll just select that player ID in game here. And then we will do a local group uh, equals to two string args and then two and this will be like uh, the group so um, such like admin mod dev stuff, stuff like that uh, basically whatever you have your group set <clears throat> then we're gonna have a local player which is the mp dot functions dot get player and we're going to select target here because we want to get this target player and then we do an if target uh, not equal nil then if player then if mp dot user group and then group <coughs> then a lot of if statements here uh, we're going to do an mp.functions here, and then it's going to be a set group command, and then that's going to be player, uh, comma group, <coughs> and that's going to be it. Um, we're going to set these uh, a little different. You could add a, uh, we're going to add a notification here very later on when we get to that. Um, we could also use a, use a chat message, but we're not going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to do an L statement, uh, add notification. Can I just copy this? Yes. Uh, and then we're going to end this and then we're going to add a else right here actually. So if no player, uh, we're going to add a notification and end <clears throat> and then end. And in this end, we're actually going to do comma function source args user um and this would be add a notification for no permission <clears throat> and then this is notification for no player uh wrong user group and then notification for such Early, <clears throat> just like that now we're gonna have a console command which is another trigger event uh, mp dash base colon add group command um, this one's obviously a little, little difference we're gonna call this console um, we're gonna have it be admin uh, you could change these to dev. I just have admin because, I, I don't know, I feel like it's a lot easier uh, giving multiple people uh, high commands that they could use. Um, <clears throat> really, they'll probably never use this, though. So it works the same way, source args uh, and user and such like that. And then we do a simple local message equals args uh, one. So... This is mainly for consoles, so you'll, you'll have to type this and then uh, console or console this and then whatever you want in here, it would say basically. So stuff like that. I'm keeping that comment in there too. 
and then we would trigger a client event and I'm actually gonna copy this in for right now um, so we're sending it to negative one which is everyone and it's just gonna say console and then the message and then uh, I believe three we use for a color um, and I'm gonna do this we're ending it and sending another chat message for no permissions you could uh, Feel like we're better off here just adding a notification and not a chat message though uh because we don't want it to take everyone's little bar up i mean we will have a probably we'll probably have a thing that changes uh chat so you could have it hidden as well until you need it okay so now we're gonna do prio stuff so we're gonna trigger an event once again mp dash base add group and uh, this one's gonna be a edit prio so edit oops mm. we'll just do edit prio and obviously we're gonna have it set to admin Let's forget these and then we will have function source args and user and that off we'll do a local player so local player equals mp dot functions dot get player and then that's going to be a two number and then we could just put args one in here which we will so args one and that will grab your local player that you're trying to grab in there Next, we will have a local level, which is just the group. So two number, uh, or not not the group, but uh, the level of priority you want. Uh, and then we're just gonna pass through args two here, which is gonna be your second thing. So uh, give me a number, obviously, uh, number and that. And then we'll do another if player uh, doesn't equal nil then uh, we're gonna update update priority and then we'll do a two number here args one oops, oops, not two. two number args and then one and then it's gonna be Um, a level for the level of priority you want that person to have uh, and then we will we'll add a notification here we're just gonna copy this um, uh, at, so we're adding a notification to source else uh, we're adding a notification for source uh, with no player and then we're just gonna end this off right here perfect perfect just like that um, we could do a help message here uh, however I don't think, uh, there's not really a need uh, so next we're gonna do a check prio which is actually gonna be an export here and I'm, so I'm gonna copy this export but we'll do the rest so it's gonna be another trigger event so this trigger event is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be MP dash base colon add group command. Uh, and it's going to be a check prio command. And it's going to be for admins to use. And then we're going to have a function of source. Uh, should just be the same thing. Source args and user. And then we end it inside the bracket. And now we will do a local SRC equals source, even though it's not really needed, but we're gonna do it anyways. Uh, local player, and that's gonna equal mp.functions.getplayer. 
to number args one. And just like that, then we will have the export. So uh, what we're doing in here is simply getting the player, exporting, uh, selecting from this player where their identifier equals uh, uh, their Steam identifier, basically. And it will come back to us uh, with result equals nil and result one priority because there is only one result. Uh, and then Q, that should be correct. Yes, Q is correct. Uh, ranking is for admin, so Q is going to be correct for uh, priority. And then it's going to send you a chat message, uh, the person who's doing the command, uh, with their priority. Now we're gonna have a trigger event one more time. This one, mp base colon. Uh, actually, we're not gonna do this one. We're not gonna do this one because I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the inventory yet. Um, but we will have our function here for update priority. And I, what we're gonna pass through is source and level. We're gonna end that off right there. And then we're gonna we're literally just, okay. We're we're copying this local player first off. Uh, changing this to source though. So MP functions get player source obviously, and then we do an if player loop. So if player uh, does not equal nil, then I don't like that extra space. Uh, then we're gonna export a couple. Couple, God, I'm blinking right now. Couple exports to get the database where we're, if we are updating the priority, we're deleting them first. Uh, so we delete them, uh, and then we insert. Uh, I find that just being easier. I mean, you could just edit it, but uh, deleting, inserting, it doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't really matter how you could do it. You could edit their. Uh, their database if you wanted to. Um, however, most people do not have uh, a set nil value for their queue system, which we won't. So there's really no point in having it. And then we just end that off right like so. Uh, 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 uh. Now we're gonna add a OOC command. Let's see how many minutes we have. We've got 13. Okay, so OOC is actually gonna be the last one. So this is actually gonna work out pretty well. So OOC command is gonna be a very easy command. Uh, we're triggering an event. We're just gonna copy. Uh, no, we're not. It's not a group command. So triggering event, mp-base, colon, add command. Uh, what the What is the command name? OOC, we're out of character. And then we will add a function uh, of source and args. We'll end that up just like so. And so I do mine very different. We start off with a local message, which is table dot concat args comma and then just open bracket and then we do a local player which is mp dot functions dot get player and we're going to pass through source here and then we will do a local local id equals player dot data dot player id oh id then we will do a local first equals player dot data dot first name and then local last equals player dot data dot last name. Uh, and then I do local full. Uh, I do this mainly so it's not uh, as as big. 
in the chat message where I don't have to type a whole lot. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, just a line here. Uh, and then we're going to do dot dot ID dot dot uh, brackets line add a space at the end though. Dot dot first dot dot. <laughs> Uh, add another space in here, and then space dot dot last, uh, space dot dot, uh, then you add another space in between here, otherwise the message will come through, and to do just like that, that will be the whole. Next, we would have a chat message. So we show this. So trigger a client event, and it's going to be a chat message. Just chat message. Uh, we're going to send it to everyone since this is an OOC command. Uh, it's going to at the start type OOC. We're going to add a space in here just so it spaces everything out correctly. Uh, we're supposed to add a comma after the one as well. And just like this, we're gonna add a dot dot. We're gonna put in full dot dot and add a space at the end. Comma two for the color and then the message. So what this is gonna look like is your player ID. Uh, we put in the player ID for OOC because let's be real, if there's an error and or a bug that's happening and a admin or a dev is on uh, saying that they're just like constantly dying for an example, uh, that dev or admin would be able to help them out uh, as they would have the ID of that player. Other than that though, that is the commands. Um, next, I believe we are gonna go into, hmm, um, let me see, we could go into the JavaScript of, yeah, we could go into the JavaScript of the HTML. Uh, I'm not right now that happy with our UI, uh, so I'm gonna be working on that still. Uh, but other than that, that is the commands. So make sure you leave a comment, type in the Discord. Uh, I did zoom in a lot more, so hopefully you guys can read it a little better as well. But thanks for watching.